checking collinear points. Explain a method for finding third point that is collinear with two given points. Provide an example with your explanation. So let's see it uh, graphically. Let's say we have two points on a line, right? So two points uh, will always form a line. Now we want to find third point which is collinear. It means which lies on the same line. So it could be anywhere on this line, right? This is what we want. So what we can do is that once we have two points, then we can find equation of a line. So let us say this point is P for us and this point is Q for us. Then using point P and Q, we can find equation of a line and then we can substitute any value of x and find y, y value to get the third point, right? Like that, we can get many other points on the line. Remember, line is a set of infinite points, right? So we have line is a set of infinite points. So there are many points on the line and you can always find those points by using your equation of line. When I say y goes to mx plus b, then x can have any real number as the value and for every x value there will be a y value. So it forms a coordinate which is x comma y. So those are the points on the line. Now to give an example what we can do is let's take some points right. Let's say point P is 2 and 3 and point Q is let us say 10 and 15 right. I'm taking easy values for calculations right. The slope of a line going through these two points will be slope m p q. So it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is the second point. p q always takes second as the second point, right? p q. So from q to p, right? So it is 15 minus 3 over 10 minus 2. 15 minus 3 is 12 and 10 minus 2 is 8. So you can simplify this dividing both by so we get 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 2 is 8. So we get a slope of 3 over 2, right? So we'll use the line equation which is y equals to mx plus b. And we can use either one of the points and the given slope to find the equation of the line. So we can use, let's say, 2 and 3. So y value is 3 for us, slope 3 over 2, and x value is 3 for us, plus b. Now that gives us 3 minus 9 over 2 equals to b. So from here we can find the value of b as 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 6 minus 9 over 2 is equals to b and that is equals to minus so minus 3 over 2. So b is minus 3 over 2. Therefore we get an equation which is y equals to slope is 3 over 2 x minus 3 over 2, right? So that is the equation of our line. Now if you have to find any other point on this line, I can substitute some value for x, right? So let's use x as 4 for example, right? So if I use 4 for example here, then what do I get? We get y equals to 4 times 3, 12. So I'm using x equals to 4. So we get y equals to 4, so we get 4 times 3 is 12, so 12 over 2 minus 3 by 2 is 1.5, so we get 6 minus 1.5 and that gives us a value 4.5 and therefore the points 4 comma 4.5 will lie on this line, right? You can find more points by placing different values for x. For example, if I write x equals to 5, then we got y equals to 3 times 5, 3 over 2 times 5 minus 3 over 2, right? Which is 15 over 2 minus 3 over 2. 15 minus 3 is 12, so 12 over 2 is 6. In that case, the next point could be 5 and 6, right? So that is how you can get more and more points on the same line, correct? And all these points since they fall on the same line, they are all collinear. Correct? So that's one way of doing it. The other way is to find a point on a, on a line. So this is actually the best way of do it, doing it. You should normally
So in this method, you can find many points on the line given two points. As you saw, we were given two points P and Q and we found a couple of points just by placing different values of X on the equation of line which formed a line through the point P and Q. I hope the method is clear and try some examples similar to this and let me know if you have any difficulty. Thanks and all the best.